Hello and welcome back to another VOD review. Today we're going back to our roots. We're not reviewing a top 500 player today, but we're actually instead going to review a 2900 support player. If you want to introduce yourself, Derpy. Hello, my name is Derpy. I'm a 2900 flex support player for the Team Sadistic and Killshot Esports. And I think I needed some more help on Baptiste since I watched your video and it was very helpful to an extent, but I want to know more situational errors that I could make personally and see just what I could fix in specific scenarios. Uh, absolutely. That makes total sense. And there's a lot of situational stuff that happens with every character in this game. So, I mean, that's what VODs are for. Um, but let's move on here. Um, about notes. I want to talk about notes. Um, I talked with you prior, but everyone that's going to be watching this on YouTube actually hasn't watched this. I usually at the end of VOD reviews, I tell people to write notes down in a notebook and look at those before they play the game. So they can kind of check it off as they go. And maybe like, I don't know, 10 years down the road when you're not playing Overwatch anymore and you're just like, hey, I mean, what, what's what's going on? Like, what, what did they do when I was a kid? You can just kind of be like, oh, wow, I, I did a lot of work. And like, I know what this is talking about still 10 years later. Yada, yada, yada. I mean, I looked at this three years ago and I still understand every single situation, even though it was like a specific thing. But um, now that I'm talking to you, something specific with notes is that you don't want to take note of everything you don't want to make everything look important you want to make sure that you, you stick to those very important concepts and do it one at a time and not try to do everything at once because if you try to do everything at once you're not going to get anywhere unless you kind of have a good grasp of one of the things but that's really advanced and we just want to make sure the basics are working out does that make sense yeah it makes sense yes so i know that we don't have a whole lot of time um and you know the shorter our youtube video is the better but let's see your guy doesn't pick a character. Yes. All right. So this is going to be an interesting game. All right. So let's look at the comp that they have. What are the two characters that are going to give you the most trouble? Ana Genji for the Nano Blade, and then maybe Ball will come in and annoy me. Uh, in That's in the neutral, what are the two most important characters to look for? Ball Genji. All right. Cool. Because those things are going to jump on you. Um. Genji is really not that big of a deal, <laughs> to be honest with you, because it's Genji. What can you do as Ball to mitigate threats? Um, what, what's Ball going to want to do on you? He's just going to want to slam me and just make me distracted. Kind of. So I, if he tries to slam you, what will you do? Uh, get a few shots on him for old charge and then just look back at my Ryan because he's pretty far up and aggressive. Uh, think about something that would mitigate this damage. Uh, jump. Yeah, exaboot jump. Be, okay. Because then he doesn't really do anything and then he just kind of looks like a dumbass. Dang it. Is that 30 seconds? Okay, we're, we're good. We don't get demonetized. <laughs> um, <laughs> all right. Um, but that makes sense. Um, but let's talk about let's talk about your team. And the fact that you don't have a um what's it called? You don't you don't have a a, a teammate. You're down a DPS. So the thing is here is that you kind of have to play to find value more so than you would normally and you're going to have to make up for the damage. It's really just going to have to be going into Ryan and just pressuring Ryan until your teammate picks a character. I mean, that's the best thing you can do. And considering the game wasn't canceled, he did end up picking a character, which is just kind of cringe. But um, these situations you can't really account for, and they're not really important in terms of Overwatch skill because they shouldn't really happen that much as you climb. But it's important to know. But OK, you said in the call before we started that you don't really know where to play. Yes. Um, I would almost never play this door unless you're playing a really fast comp in which you're not. You're playing a Zarya. I would almost always play right here as Bap in okay. in this vicinity. If you can see that. Can you see yes, that? I, I can right. see that. Yes. I'd play there just so that you don't get walked on. And also, I mean, usually you'd be playing an Arisa here. If your Ryan plays up here, if he gets run, if, if he gets run down, like you can still put the ammo there and have totally fine LOS there. And it kind of creates this weird crossfire for them where they have to either go here and then the Ryan gets to do everything or they go here and then the rest of the team just shoots them. It's a weird, weird concept. Also, what they will normally want to do is just rotate through here and get this space in which your Ryan will then take this space here and then you guys can walk in that way. It, it, I don't know. I don't really think the Reinhardt ever playing over there is good anymore. It's just kind of Mimi. But think about it. Where is he going to pin? He's going to pin through here. And then whatever he pins, you can just do a lot easier cleanup if you're here. Okay, that makes um, sense. But let's go. 
So like immediately off the rip, I'd be looking to take an angle right here and just spamming through this choke here. Uh, not spamming super, super hard until you know that they don't have a, a Hanzo, Widow, or Ash. If they have a Hanzo, Widow, or Ash, you really can't peek that that hard. But right here, you can definitely peek. Like, see how this is just a really good spot because you have this for alt charge? Yeah, that makes sense. And also, this this five seconds that you're just staring at your Mercy doing nothing could have been put here in which you would then have, like, 10% alt charge. Okay. Which 10% is one-tenth of your alt. So, I mean, you know, it's a pretty big deal. And now, yeah, now I think just holding this position to start gives you a lot better results. So that ball can't just roll on me there. It's it's literally everything. You're so exposed here. Your Ryan has no peel. Right, you you can't do any damage, and now you're just going to lose this fight because now everything's just swarming you. Also, your Ryan kind of trolled, but you kind of trolled too. Yeah, you kind of trolled. I think you just play here, and the fight's actually winnable. To be honest, it's just that simple. Okay. Because you didn't really have the time to make any other mistakes because you just kind of started it wrong. So yeah, okay. Six minute hold inbound on Hanamura second. Let's see how you do it. You have a, you have a soldier now. Uh, macro question, since I think it's important that we kind of expand that now. I want to I want to try it more. Um, where should Sig be? Sig should be on, I think, high ground with our Ryan. Like, All right, like, this is position right one. Here, yeah. This is position two. Where should Sigma be? Oh. Position two, then just so you can put poke damage and then also like see where they're going. Who else should be with him? Uh, Tracer or Soldier. <laughs> you could argue Tracer or Soldier, I guess. I mean, I think Soldier's better. Soldier Mercy Sig goes here, and then Tracer can just kind of play here or like just play around you, and then you and Bap together. It's a weird comp, but I think far too many people in ladder don't take this position as Sig and Soldier. Because here's the thing if they walk this way, then the Ryan just drops on them. If they walk up here, Ryan just has to, I mean, the Sigma just comes behind at that point, and then there's a Brawl again. I think far too many people don't play that character, right? And it's something that you kind of have to look out for. But, um, alright, I think the place that you are, this is totally fine. I would just, again, be really cognizant of these windows, and that those are really scary. Uh, if they had a Hanzo, you can't play here. But since they don't have a Hanzo, you, you have the opportunity to play here. Dynamic positioning is important. You, know, you understand what I mean by that, right? Yes, I know what you mean. Okay. You mean just position yourself where you know where you can sit, I guess. Yeah, and it depends on the characters that they have. Mm -hmm. Or the characters that are alive. So, like, for example, if you if it was mid-fight and the Widow is... You killed the, uh, the Widow on their enemy team, you can be a lot more aggressive than if the Widow was alive. So it's just stuff like that that you have to keep a, keep track of. Here it's not too hard because, I mean, they have a Genji Reaper and you just did not die. Okay. Your Ryan's kind of trolling. At this point, if you know your Ryan's going to die, just back off and heal. Because that Ryan's not going to live. I mean, sure, you immo him, but they have a Reaper and you don't. The tempo is not correct by your Ryan standards. If he's going to die, like, you, you could tell right here, right, that he was not going to live that. Okay. Like, I mean, was this not obvious that he was going to die doing this? I thought he at least would get a pick from him. And then we yeah, even if he gets away. a... Even gets, you just got to back up off the rip. Like, he's not going to live this. This does not look promising. So right here, instead of walking in, you can just start backing off and still try to heal him, but just start backing off. Okay. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. That's a tempo thing. I wouldn't really take a big note on that yet until I see more of it. The, the ammo behind the wall was fine, but your Ryan's just feeding. Alright. Alright. Okay, left side, it's totally fine, whatever. Six hold, not inbound. Alright. Yeah. Stall. Zz zz. Okay, and you guys lost. So first point was a sham because you didn't position yourself right and your Ryan was feeding. Second point was a sham because your Ryan fed it, but you fed with him. Okay. Um, I mean, the Ryan, he is plant-based. Yeah. He needs to eat more meat, get big and strong. I told him, watch out for the ball dive, and we'll watch out for a Ryan fire strike. If the ball jumps on you, like, there's just no reason he doesn't die, right? Okay, well. That's what I told him. And it was I can't believe that that ball actually did that. That'll never happen. Okay, right, but let's, let's look comps here. I'm gonna I'm gonna ask you a question on tempo. Oh, uh, no, th this tempo is so messed up. You're just trying to spam. So a lot of your, a lot of what you need to do on BAP is just find an opportunities to just get some damage in. 
if you're going to look to play a comp this slow. Okay. Because you're running Pharmacy with Tracer, you're, you're playing a slower comp, you just need to look for something. That's not to say you don't want to heal, but you, you can be more aggressive because the comp is slower. So let's see how you do this. Okay, it's good left clicks. It's a decent... Okay, yeah, you're doing the rotation. Uh, this is just unlucky, you got boops. Yeah, I don't know. It's a lot of just really small, stupid shit, to be honest. Um, I think you're healing a little bit too much. I think this okay. could be done by your mercy. Um, you're, you're wasting too many grenades, I think. Okay. I don't want to really focus on resource management as much, though. Okay, this is a fine reload. Oh, uh, yeah, you, you just need a chill. Immo could have been placed better. It could have been placed more by the sign, you think? Yeah, I think right here. Okay. And then it would have done like that and helped the Rhine, and it wouldn't have died. That's really important. Mm -hmm. That's really important. Like, extremely. I don't think people understand that, because if that ammo is still up, I think the Ryan won't... Okay, he should have died here. That's a big pick on the BAP, but now you have to make sure that you can just live this Nanoblade. If you live the called, Nanoblade, I you're don't in the game. Live it. I called Genji on your, your Baptiste. I mean, the jump's fine. You did a lot there. I mean, you did, you did a lot. You did. I think you just need to look to get more value. I think you need to be a little bit more aggressive and get more out of Baptiste, to be quite honest. Because, I mean, if you're playing this consistent, you should at least be Diamond. Stop jumping. Okay, so like, if you're not with the Roadhog or the Reinhardt, you can't just be rotating through there. Do you, do you understand why? Uh, not exactly, because it was kind of open. Uh, that's exactly the reason why. Now oh. let's take this back. <laughs> let's take it from... Justice reigns from above. Ba -ba -ba. Let's take this back. So here's the thing, right? If you're going to walk through main, you have to look at like where everything is and all the threats that are actually going to be there. Just because there's no Rhine there, like the Rhine is actually not the threat when you're rotating. It's this person, it's this person, it would be this person if they were smart. It's the hit scans. Like, the thing is that you did when you were walking through is you're just kind of like, up, oh, it's open, I walk left now. Meanwhile, you, what, you're, what you should be doing is looking like, all right, these are the things that are happening. Where's my Reinhardt even? My Reinhardt isn't even here. We shouldn't even be walking, you know? It's stuff like that. If, if you walk through here and there's an ash, you're just dead. Every time. You, you can't rotate through here right now. Realistically, you shouldn't be. To be honest. Uh, they should really be capitalizing on that a lot harder than they are. And then you actually start taking damage. And now you are in a really shit position. That BAP should kill you. So should Diana. Let's see if you do die. Okay, you not. Well, you should have died. Yes. There's no reason for you to rotate through there without your Reinhardt. Or without at least looking what was around you. I'd be... Here's the thing. I'd just be committing to helping your Roadhog and doing as much damage to this Rhine as possible. Because he's realistically not going to catch up to you with how much vertical mobility you have. See, I would have been a more aggressive sooner there. It's an okay window. Could have been better. You don't need to be healing right now. Everyone is literally full health. You can be looking just to do damage to shields. Like, there's just no reason for you to be healing there. You could literally just shoot the wall and I'd be getting more value. You should be winning this, though. Okay, yeah, you just win the fight. Whatever. That took you 20 seconds? Just about. Okay. Here's another thing, like if your Ryan's not going to shield you in rotation, you need to call for that. I understand they don't have a sniper, but I don't think you would do that even if they had a sniper. That you need to be with your Reinhardt at all times. Alright. I need water. I need H2O. Okay.
All right, let's keep going. There's really not a whole lot with this VOD. It's just a lot of stupidity. All right, now we back up. Okay, Immo. I could have thrown that better, yes. In that corner. <laughs> Here's the thing. If you know this, like, all you I have to do is practice it, and then you'll get better, you know? Yeah, um, and I feel like I just need to do that one more play. Okay, like, I don't know what that Ryan's doing. He just needs to live. Everyone else should be walking. If your emote's put better place, like he, he's safer there too. Okay. Like if you if you place that emote correctly, I think you win the game. To be honest. Okay, we should be looking damage, damage. Okay, why are we shooting that? Let's think. Why we like why why? Because TP bad. That's what I've learned in scrims, but I I kind of implement it into my play in comp. I don't think I should, but uh, TP's not always bad. Like, who's gonna utilize that TP? Like, People nobody. From that, that spawn, uh, dude. There. Dude, there is no one from that spawn. There's a high charge Zarya on point. Kill that. Oh, I thought it was the this, where they were sitting, like where the Symmetra and Lucio, or, not Lucio, um, Symmetra, Ana, and Baptiste were sitting. That's where I. Th oh, that's just awareness then. That's just awareness. shoot. Okay, I don't care if there's a TP there unless there's a Bastion going up there. Okay. Even if the, I like that's a that's a max charge Zarya, you gotta shoot that man. Like a, a two CP, the rules always you like, dude. You see this? She she is so dead right now with where you are. You could window and just kill her, and you honestly should window and just kill her if it's a ladder. Like this this is a throw. Don't shoot the don't shoot the TP right now. There's a max charge Zarya, and she let, let's see what she does. Is she honestly worse? She's honestly worse. Dude, there's no way that is real. Wow. Okay, Baxta. Baxta. That should die quite faster. Dude, I'm so surprised you got away with that. You got to shoot that Zarya sooner. She could have okay. killed you and just carried that. You see that though, right? I see it now that it's pointed out. Yeah, but like, think... that's never going to happen again. I'm telling you straight, that can happen again. There's just no way. Shoot that Zarya, bro. Okay. And then I did regen burst. Okay, that's an okay. I mean, that's an okay ammo. You can't really put it around corners. And your Ryan, I mean, I don't think the Ryan would have died, but try to try to make sure that the threat levels. Yeah, I mean, you understand that because you watch the guy. I wouldn't jump unless there's a reason for your jumping. You okay. understand what I mean? Like right here, you're not safer by jumping. You're actually more in danger because you're making the shot easy for this bap to shoot up uh, above all of the team meanwhile if you just go behind this roadhog you're not getting shot you'll just meet shield them you know would it that be smarter sense? to kind of bait myself or like kind no of take the peel for the hog or no okay no just make it no no you're you're bap i mean your life's just more important i mean he also has vape he shouldn't die there Okay, I mean, I think your focus is a little off. You're not really sure what's the most important target, or you're just kind of scared. You kind of, you kind of give me that vibe. You might be a little scared a when you play. Both. I think it's a mix of both. No, I think, so. I think you're scared when you play. To be honest, I think you're I nervous. Can... Definitely nervous. Yes. Um... Oh, don't, dude, don't do that. Don't be nervous, bro. <laughs> well, ahead. I'm nervous because I, I don't know what my team is gonna do. I don't know how we're gonna set the tempo. In this match, I don't Bro, know. Bro, you're never gonna play. know. Oh, wow. You're never gonna know that in this rank. Just play, yeah. play what you need to do. You just play yeah. selfish. Do what you need to do. If the Ryan's being a dumbass, be like, whatever, dude. Your your fault, not mine. Back off. And if he flames you, dude, you'll be masters in two weeks. He'll still be plat, if not gold. You know? Okay. Like, there's so many things. Like, be confident. You literally locked on the Zarya. You locked on her head, and you were like, "Oh shit, teleporter! That's scary!" No, nah, dude, kill that, that, kill that Zarya. You know that's the right call. At least now you do. All right, just I don't care if your hog's sleeping. Walk with your Ryan. No one is going to kill a hog in spawn. There's no way. You know what I mean? Okay. Because now this Ryan might actually die. Nope, he's fine. Got lucky there. Okay, it's a fine regen burst. I'm okay with this right click because you need to heal him up quick. You need to stop jumping. Immo placement. Immo placement. Immo placement. Where could it have been placed? Sign. Right there. So important. If this team was good, they would have shot it already. They would have been down, and they would have had Immo advantage. 
They already do have ammo advantage when you didn't really need to use it either. So now you're just going to lose this fight. Unless you can get window or... Wow, huge hook. He just carried that. Please stop jumping. Please stop jumping. Literally unbind it. Unbind it for a scrim. Right there, you could have... If you weren't jumping so much and you were charging boots, you would have been able to dodge the shatter. You know? Okay. Um... Let's keep going here. Okay, you have window. Let's see how fast you use it. You didn't need to use that. Also, this is not a good window. Why Everyone's is it a bad anti window? Because everyone's anti and they Not even that. I mean, like, where's your Ryan, bro? Your Ryan's mm -hmm. behind you, dude. Not, like, this is aggressive, but it's not good timing. You're, you're doing it when your Ryan isn't here. If anything, you should be putting the window, like, on the angle... Like here to force out their Ryan when your Ryan's actually walking in. Because you just want to get at least their Ryan dead. Because if you kill their Ryan, you win the brawl. Okay. But doing it in their face and when you're anti, yeah, not a good look, bro. You're probably going to die here. Also, you're jumping way too much because you're nervous. So yeah, your window gets no value. You do force out their ammo, though. That's going to win you this fight. That they just messed up the ammo that bad. Okay, well, you're, you were late on the ammo, and yep. I don't know. The Ryan walked into a window, I think? Yes. I don't know. They had window up, that's why we played. Yeah. Oh, no, they didn't have window up. Never mind. Alright, you just die here quick. Fine. Okay, ammo. I would I still put it back point. here, or okay. put it in there. Stuff to look for. That's like they're gonna immediately break it, and then he's in a yes, yeah, then he dies. It doesn't matter that you got the timing on it. If the positioning's bad, they're still gonna kill you, you know? Mm. So you gotta constantly be looking for stuff like that. So yeah, lamp positioning is easily the biggest thing right now. The lamps are just not in a good spot. But there's other like small things that you kinda need to understand. Yeah, okay, we're going through this like wildfire because it's so simple, and I know you know this stuff. But I just need to apply it to play. I mean, here's the thing, dude. Positioning a lamp that fast in a good spot is really hard. But when you fix that, you win so much, so many games. You get 4.5. Like, it, it, it's it's so true. Shocker's literally 4.5 only because he learned how to lamp. It's, it's so crucial. Attackers incoming. But let's see what you do. Uh, you guys do lose the game. Okay, I like this aggression. I don't like how you're bunny hopping. You, you're you're making it harder to aim. Just saying. Okay. Don't bunny hop. I had the same problem. I still do. Because I, I don't know. I just don't think about it. I wanted to get on the other side. You don't need to ammo that. Do we understand why? Because we killed their entire team. No. Let's look at Ryan. Let's look at Ryan POV. Okay. Dude, he's still 200 HP. You can heal that. When Threat I see levels. the crit, I, Dude, I get very concerned. Don't look at crit. Look at health bars. Look at speed of which people are dying. Look at the characters that are alive. Look at look at everything else other than that crit sign. That crit sign is going to mess you up. Is there a way to turn it off? I don't turn it off. I think it's still important, but like you need to assess the situation. It's 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 an indicator of assess situation fast. Like okay. he's 200 HP. You know, if he was like, I don't know, here. Okay, let's let's thin this out a bit. How can I do that? If he was like here, that's a problem. But he was like here, dude. He was chilling. He was being chilling. You know okay. what I mean? Mm -hmm. So that's threat levels. He's fine. No one's going to kill him. They didn't have a Reaper. They didn't have a Hanzo. They didn't have a Cassidy to stun him. Uh, and overall, the lamp was bad, too, because it bounced. Lol. Uh -oh. Lamp bounced. Um, I mean, it didn't bite you in the butt, but it's important because it would long term. Uh, no way you guys see nine, right? No, we don't see nine. Okay, okay. What's more important here, dude? Your Ryan in the front line that's looking to get all charge, or the people that are fighting on point? Uh, people that are fighting on points. So, so look at the things that's important. 
you know that that's important. Things on point on a 2 CP, that's the most important thing. You gotta focus that all the time. Now, obviously, if your Ryan was getting destroyed by like three people and you needed to help him out, sure, go for it. But always keep in mind what's going on on point because this Pharah almost died. If that sim was good, she just right clicks the Pharah and the Pharah dies and then Mercy has to use reds. Like, that's really bad for your team. Make sure you're looking for the more important things because what are you doing right now? She could have died, man. Okay. If the per if the player was better, she would have died. And Ryan's fine. Like the fight was done. He's just looking for a, a fire strike. If he gets pinned, it's his own dumbness. Okay. See, this is this is okay. You're playing like you're playing aggressively here, but it's still like an okay place to just spam to start a fight. That's totally fine. Totally fine. Left clicks. I wouldn't shoot that bubble unless you're actually gonna kill it. But I'm okay with this rotation since the Ryan wants to play close. So you don't get totally spared out. Like, this is an okay rotation if you want to play really aggressive with your Ryan. Especially since they have TP. So that's good. Don't see 9. Okay, now you look this way, which is good. I would just focus damage. No one's low. If everyone is above 85% HP, you don't need to shoot them. Let the other heal do it. Okay. Stop bunny hopping. Look for some spam damage, even though you already have alt. It's a fine window. I think it could be even... Uh, here's the thing with placement. I think it could be a little bit more aggressive. Okay. If you Here's the thing, right? If you're going to use this window, you're going to get aggressive with it. Because if you didn't... If you wanted to use the window a, a less aggressively and look for more spam... You're going to wait for them to actually make the rotation and do it here. But if you're doing the window there, it needs to be closer. It needs to be on this wall here so that you can actually rotate into it. Because in this right here, you're just spamming nothing. They have a wall. If you yeah, put it in... You shield it, though, on the that doorway, and then you can just hold right in front of it. But this? Just walk okay. through it. Walk at them. Okay. But if you want to walk at them from this window, what are you going to do? They're going to die because you, no, you have no pressure then. I don't care if they try to take this window here. You guys just go first. Especially okay. when your Ryan was already up here, but then he had to go back because the window wasn't aggressive. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. I mean, the right call from them is to just walk into you at that point, but you're going to not let them just do that for free because Farah's already here set up to go too, which was good on your team. The window is just really, really non-aggressive and it's going gonna, it's gonna to hurt your team. Because see, now they just get to do whatever they want to just get to sit here. If it's more aggressive, they have to make a move. In which they only have nano and you have shatter and everything else that you could possibly want. I'm okay with this right clicking. I would just be looking to weave in damage with your Ryan Shield. Lucky pick. But okay. Okay, so like... I was about to be so happy for you, man. And then you messed it up. Wait, wait. Hmm. What, what's the mess up here? I just need to... I reload. Oh. I didn't need to reload there. No, no. You do it so. Oh. The ammo placement was a little too far to the left. That's one thing, but did the Ryan even need ammo? Mm, maybe if the Genji dove him, but the Genji would get punished for it. So. But did the Genji actually dive him? No. Could you have healed him through this? Yes. Yeah, you could have. So you didn't need to use ammo. Because now if they break the ammo because it's in a bad placement for one, then the Genji does get to go through and just kill everyone. Okay. Let's see how let's see how this actually affects you. Okay, they just back off. But still, you didn't need to use ammo there. And there are fights where that's going to happen. You're going to ammo early and they're going to have ammo. You won't and you'll lose. Okay. You're lucky that they're on Ana Lucio, so this game is really easy for you. Okay, so like, what are you doing here? Uh, I'm just looking for flankers because I thought I heard Soldier on the flank. I yeah, don't do that alone. That. Don't like don't do that alone. You will lose. And okay. even if he does try to like everyone will just turn around and kill it. That's not your job. The job right now is to look for some poke damage here before the, the like when the fight's actually happening on point, yes, you look here. When there's no one behind, even if you think someone's behind, you can do a quick look. They'll have to touch point eventually. But play with your Ryan so that you don't die, because if you go here alone, you will lose every single time. Like that's not a good move. Okay. Okay. Okay, you're wasting a lot of nades before the fight. If you were there, I argue that she wouldn't have died. You would have had more pressure on that soldier. 
And now they're just gonna walk in. Big EMP. Holy <laughs> crap. I okay. That was yeah. Genuinely like smurfing right there. Just because they did it during the That was so good. That was such a good EMP. It shouldn't have happened. You shouldn't have gotten that lucky, but holy shit, good EMP. Alright, what do they have now? Okay, well, Nanoblade. Nanoblade, yeah, Nanoblade, Nanoblade. They also have Reaper, so the pressure on Ryan's going to be a lot more aggressive, so you have to keep that in mind when you're using your kits. Their speed wants, they want to be faster, but now they have a Mercy for some reason, so just keep that in mind too. Okay, that's that's a much better window. You see how that forces them back, and even if you want, if your team wanted to push in, it would be good. So it's, it's, it's just closer. It wasn't perfect, but there you just died without using him up. Okay. You also need to not jump the whole time so that when he does actually dash on you, you put the ammo down, you charge up boots, and you jump up in the air so he can't actually kill you unless he has dash. Okay. That's going to cost you there. I think that costs you the game. Okay. Yep, it does. This is why Baptiste is the most tilting character, because it seems super small, but it makes such a big difference. Wow, that Mercy just got rolled by that on a holy... Okay. Yeah, no. See what you do when you get back. Okay. Bad ammo. You die. Don't touch. Okay. So let's let's take some takeaways. This was a quick vod, but I think this is gonna drill it into your head a little bit better. Which I mean, that's what you want. So. Yep. All right. Let's make. All right. Step one. Let me get my old uh, notes out so that I can actually give you what I learned. Okay. And this is how it worked for me and how I taught literally everyone else for bringing out the notebook. Is this from the guy uh, Pawn or something like that? Poke dude, yes. Poke, okay. Immortality field. Okay. Don't panic. But we're gonna we're gonna talk about that after. First thing, first thing that I need you guys I need you to think about. Okay. P for positioning. Write the whole thing out. P O S positioning of the lamp. Mostly needs to be around corners. And it has to be fast. You can't take a million years to get around that corner. You have to look. You have to look at the geometry of the fight you're taking, that choke, and preemptively know where you're going to throw that ammo before you actually throw it. So it's a quick flick over, and it's done. And then when you keep practicing that, you'll eventually be able to check this box off, and then you can keep going with the rest of what's going on with ammo. That says Which, corners, and what else does that say? Fast. Okay. Like make sure that it's actually. Um, precise. It gets done quick. It's not going to take forever for you to actually get it done. Okay. The next thing is threat levels, which I would almost put this at a level two, but I don't want. I want to give you a lot to work on since I already told. I already told you this like a few days ago. This okay. whole positioning thing. I I want to make sure that you have longevity. But first thing is positioning. I don't even want you to worry about threat levels yet, but I wanted to put that into your mind so you understood what I was talking about. Okay. So. Threat. And then these are just questions to ask yourself. How low? How low are they? And adding on to that, can I heal them? Can I heal? Question mark. And obviously people are going to die because you're going to be like, oh shit, I should have emoed. But mm -hmm. that's the stuff that you have to just practice and ask yourself. And then at this point, even if they are really low, even if you can't heal, are they in danger? Or did we just win the fight? Can I take the time to reload? Can I let my other healer heal that up for alt charge? Do I have to emo? Or would I get more out of just not emoing and getting more alt charge elsewhere and having that emo going into the next fight? Because it's not a 25 second cooldown. You're not always going to have that next fight. Mm -hmm. um this stuff though i don't even i don't even want you to start working about this stuff until you have checked this box off like a million times and you know for a fact the positioning is fine because this is a lot 
This is a lot. Um, all right, I'm going to clear the board. Did you get all that? Yes, I wrote it down. Okay, I'm going to clear the board because there's more stuff. I'm going to okay. actually give you as much as possible so that you have a lot of stuff to work on, but you're going to do it one by one. So I can actually test if giving more is efficient if the people write the notes down effectively. Um, number two. Um, I don't want to just say awareness because that's really a blanket term. Um, I don't know. Um, I'm just going to write IMP for importance. Uh, in terms of the objective of what the game is and what's going on. Um, cause, uh, it's hard, but like, you know what I'm saying? With like Zarya, understanding a high charge Zarya is more important. It's the most important thing. It's on the point. You kill what's on point first, you win the game. TP, it's kind of obvious. If you see a Bastion walking left or you see like an Ash just trying to go high ground, you're going to try to pressure her out. But the Zarya is kind of, a high charge Zarya is kind of the most important thing. Okay. A person on point that might be killing your DPS is the most important thing. If there's a soldier on point, yeah, that's really, or that might be flanking. That's really important, sure. But you also don't want to die. It's important that you don't die there. It's situational stuff like that. I I just want you to put a note of it. There, it's not really a box. I put it as number two to think about it. Because I, I don't really know every single situation I can just give you an idea for that. But try to think about it. Like, okay, there's two situations here. When you're body reviewing yourself, because I feel like you're the type of person to do that. Mm -hmm. Think about it. If you make a decision that might not be right in your head, think about it. What's What are the two situations that are going on right now? I have a Reinhardt going in the front line trying to get damage. I have people that... Uh, DPS 1v1ing another DPS on point. What do I really need to be focusing on? Or like... DPS 1v1ing. It, it's... It's... It's really hard for me to just give you a, a one-shoe-fits-all kind of approach to this. Or one-size-fits-all. I don't even know what the saying is. It's really hard for me to give you... A, a key that will fix all that those situations for you but i can give you the uh, the um the fundamentals so that you can think through it yourself and that you don't need me okay so that you can think about what what's the more important thing and just think about it think about the, the different situations that are going on and where you would get more value in uh, this also goes down to like hey my ryan's pinning in what's more important that i live or that i feed with him because there will be situations that are different for each thing you know what i mean Does that make sense? Yes. I just write that as number two. I wouldn't really, I would just keep that in the back of your mind. If you have, want to put like a footnote there for that too, that would work as well. Number three, jumping. I'd put a box for this. It's got to stop, dude. You got to work on it. Okay. Um, you have to convert that vertical jumping to horizontal movement, which is where Vaxta is going to come in because this is also going to help you. Code Vaxta, I would give it, I'd give it half an hour a day, to be honest. Half an hour is the best way to do it. I, I think the 15 is just too little, unless okay. just, unless you don't have the time to do it, which I understand a lot of people do, but it seems like if you're playing on a team, you have the time to do 30 minutes of Vaxta before scrims. Uh, 10 minutes for each character. When you're doing this, unbind the jump key and left and right strafing. Is strafing going to be the same for each and every character? Oh, no, it is not. So where what characters are you going to short strafe and what characters are you going to long strafe? What kind of characters? Um, Short strafing, I would think that's for like. Like supports and small angles, I guess it's uh, this is no, 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 no. Like think about it. Think about it in terms of. Raw mechanical aim talent, not character. Like, what, how does their, how are they going to flick on that? Oh, shit, I just gave it away. How are they going to aim on that character? Well, it, it, uh, there's different aiming styles. Right? Exactly. So, what, so which aim style is, I mean, here's the thing. Like, on, on Cassidy, you're mostly going to be flicking, okay. right? Mm -hmm. So, the, the one on the left is more for, like, snipers, people taking off angles Flicks. to actually, like, melt down people. Flick, people that are going to be flicking. So, like, Cassidy. Yes. So, like, Hanzo, Widow, um, May. But, mm -hmm. like, characters like Tracer, Soldier... I mean, Tracer is a little bit weird uh, because she's going to be right up in your face. But, like, Soldier, Hanzo when he's Storm Arrowing, um, Zarya... Longer strafes for, like, tracking characters. 
with crouches in there as well. Uh, I can link you something from Surefor. He explains movement and aim. It's really, it's really nice. It's it's a very good video that I think everyone should take a watch. I watched it like three years ago, four years ago, and it just made sense. Everything just made sense after that. Yeah, honestly, I think this this three is really important. The jumping thing, it's, it's got to stop uh, because it's it's hurting your aim. It's hurting your movement. It's hurting a lot of different things. And here's the thing, there's a lot of different problems with your gameplay right now. Like your windows weren't the best or whatever, whatever. I don't care. Emo is more important right now. Okay. Emo is the most important thing with Baptiste until they nerf it. And then it'll be window. And a regen burst is like the last thing you need to worry about. It's it's so strong. It does make a big difference, but I I mean, it's not the most important thing in the world. Do you have any questions? Um, actually, on this aiming and strafing, I actually have questions. So, for short strafe, are you, are you always going to flick? Because I know you can track during it, which is situational, of course. But, like, is there one of these styles that I should, like, try to perfect? Or should I try to perfect both of them? Okay, so I'm not saying you're supposed to flick while you short strafe. I'm saying that you are short strafing against characters that are going to flick. Oh, okay. Just, just to put that out there. Your movement okay. is defined by the character you're playing against in this situation and not the and not the person you're playing. You just need to understand what they're on and move accordingly to that. This is a high level thing that I wouldn't really worry about too much right now, but it's just something to think about when you're aim training if you want to start moving better because jumping jumping is like the bronze tier movement. That's why I'm really good at Bastion is because I don't have to worry about movement and jumping around and messing myself up. I can just sit still and, and aim. <laughs> so it works out for me. It, it complements the fact that I suck at movement. But like this is like Grandmaster movement. Uh, well, not necessarily. There's a lot of good movement players. Does that make sense? Yes. And then... Also, you said, like, unbind jump for, like, a scrim. It just, like... Boom. It's kind of important to have it as Baptiste. Mm -hmm. But I did it for two scrims way back in the day. And, uh, or at least bind it to something that you're just not going to keep pressing so that you'll have it in, like, the most dire situations. And then you can put it back to space bar where it's very oh, easily, wait, easily wait, acceptable. Wait, is, there a, <laughs> is there a way I can, like... Um, make it on control like how it, it when i press down control uh what's your crouch jump? on control can i do no, that don't do that don't do that so every time i crouch i jump well well no i'm gonna need straight you, you, you need crouch you need crouch you need to learn okay. how to strafe with crouch okay okay other than that um i would bind it to like maybe your scroll wheel or something i don't know that's okay. weird, but maybe. Yeah, I don't know. I, I just never had it bound when I was practicing that. And then I I, I regressed. Because mm -hmm. I, I don't do it for long enough. I should have done it for longer. Okay. To be honest. Um, other than that... Uh, do you have any more Zen tricks, actually? Okay, Zen. It's just um, a little bit. Not, not crazy. I can talk to you after we're done recording. Do you have anything for BAP? Just so that I don't keep the video too, too long. Uh, that should be all, actually. Okay. I got a lot down. Stick around, because I'll tell you about Zen afterwards. Because um, okay. I still have 15 more minutes to do. But, uh, yo, if you guys are watching this from YouTube, I appreciate... If you're still watching this, that's crazy. It's 45 minutes in. Like, holy crap, you're the homie. But um, if you have any questions about Baptiste, let me know in the comments down below. This is a lot of the same stuff we always talked about. But it's good that you actually put it to use and you actually do the putting it behind corners understanding threat levels when you when you actually see it in action you're gonna you're gonna climb an sr and this is true for shocker this is true for everyone else that i've actually reviewed on this channel after they've implemented this into their play uh it makes a pretty damn big difference but um make sure you like subscribe if you like the content if you want to see more of this just let me know if you have any ideas that you want to see just let me know as well so um but until next time gotta peace out and pass out i'll see you in the next one